Cancer patients in Gauteng often die while waiting months for urgent treatment. The Cancer Alliance of South Africa has described this as a humanitarian crisis. I acknowledge that, yes, we do have a, a, a crisis, but we are also working into making sure that we, ac- we address that. When Charlotte was still operating in Norman, we did have a challenge, but it was manageable. But then the fire happened at Charlotte. Then the pandemic happened, COVID happened. In the process of COVID, we also lost a number of uh, staff. So we are looking into um, filling those vacancies and also into making sure that we are revising our organizational structure so that we can have a, a enough staff to can deal with the, 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 the cancer patients. In April last year, a fire engulfed parts of Charlotte Matzleke Hospital in Johannesburg, placing an enormous burden on already overcrowded public hospitals in surrounding areas. The reopening of the hospital's emergency unit has been postponed several times due to broken CT scan machines. That is what is delaying us to open the accident and emergency unit. But as for everything else is in place, the mental health uh, ward that we identified there to use to offload pressure from uh, Helen Joseph that is in place. So the only thing that is holding us, because if you can get a trauma patient, then it means that you must send a patient to another hospital for a scan and then it's it's going to inconvenience us. MEC Mukreti says the high influx of foreign nationals, especially for maternity care, is crippling the system. The challenge is that some of these women, when they come from their countries, they never attended antenatal clinic they come as emergencies, they are putting pressure on the system, the infrastructure of the hospital it's, it's, it can only accommodate a, a certain number. MEC Mukheti admits that the province's hospital infrastructure is crumbling. Since 1994, we only built one a, a hospital in Gauteng, which is Begim Langen, and it is already a, a also over, overflowing with patients. Most of our facilities uh, their aging infrastructure is, is so bad. So it is also a challenge for us to say we are operating with the facilities that were built years and years back uh, with no anticipation of the increased uh, disease burden that we are currently having, no anticipation of the increased population that we are currently having. While MEC Mokreti admits that certain areas in our public health care system are buckling under immense pressure, she stops short of calling it a crisis. I don't think to say it's, it's a crisis because um, there's a difference between pressure and, and a crisis because there are those areas of health care where there is an um, immense pressure. But there are those where we are doing very good. I think we can say there are challenges. We have a shortage of staff and um, we can attract and retain, especially uh, uh, the staff to, to, to to take care of our cancer patients.